Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and what I'm going to do is a multiple ring pour and this is actually the color challenge of the week from Tish from the Artist Haven and she picked out the color palette. So let's go over my paints. My base coat is going to be this really pretty color here. And that is the Amsterdam greenish yellow. And the rest of my paints are a combination of Master's Touch Emerald Green, and I did put a little white in there just to brighten that up a little bit. And that's this color right here. My next color is the Amsterdam Yellowish Green. That's this pretty color right here. My next color is the Liquitex Basics Cerulean Blue. That's this pretty color right here. And you can kind of see the consistency there. I left it a little bit on the thicker side here today because I am doing ring pours. My next my next paint is Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green, and I did add a dollop of the Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green to that, just to darken it up a bit. And I will show you that color. And my last color is the Amsterdam Prussian Blue. That's a very, very, very pretty color. My pouring medium today is seven parts of the mix, one part paint, and I just only thinned with probably two um, squirts of water and no silicone added today. So what I'm gonna do is stop the camera, put down my base coat, get my cups poured and ready to do uh, my ring pours, and we'll get to painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down. I've given it a torch. I have uh, actually two bigger cups filled, and I'll show you those. I did them in opposite order, and then I was able to fill just this little cup here, too. So three cups all together. So let's just get started with our ring pours. I think I'll start in this area here. Just going to pour it close to the canvas to start. Just to see what we get. Very pretty colors. Okay, that's the first cup. And our second cup will be down in this area. As you can notice, I'm kind of squeezing to make it a little spout here. And turn my cup a little bit here. 
and turn it back. Very curious to see how the paint and the mix will work together here. Okay, that's my second cup. And now I just have this little cup here. And I will start with some paint right here, down here. And I'll put some paint up in here. And let's try over here. And let's try over here. Oh, this looks good in here. And I have a little bit of paint left. Let's just go in here. Let's give it a little bit different effect here today. Okay, that's all of the paint, and I'm just going to take my skewer here and just kind of fix up these little circles here. And what, what I'm also going to do is I, put, I mixed up a little bit more of the Amsterdam Prussian Blue, and what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to add some just going to add some stripes in here in between my ring pores. Again, just for something different for the eye to see. And I might even just do a real, a real dark just a little dark ring pour here. Why not? Just give it a try. And I'll see if there's anything left in my cups that I can add to that.
Okay, you know, I think I will give it a torch before we start tipping it. Then I did get a new torch. Okay, let's do some tipping and see what happens here. I do have plenty of paint on this canvas, so I'm gonna have to tip some off. Just turning it around and around here. I really do like this. Oops, my hand got in there. That ring pour. Going to hide that right away. Even though it may get tipped off. I'm going to bring this back. And we're going to go down to this corner. And bring that back. And I'm going to take a look at it here a minute. I think I'm going to tip this way very carefully. Tip it down to that corner. And bring that back. I'm just really loving what I'm seeing so far. Okay, I'm going to tip down to this corner. Again, carefully. And bring that back. And I'm going to have to tip down to this far corner here. And bring that back. Going to really stretch some of this out now. Just taking a look at it here. Just really, really loving what I'm seeing. I think I'll just I'm going to stretch it just a little bit down there. Just tip it a little bit more very carefully here.
and now this way a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to see what I have here now. Check my sides and my corners. I think what I'm going to do is just run my little skewer, not my skewer, excuse me, my little palette knife, my real little palette knife. I'm just going to run it through this stripe a little bit and break it up just a little bit. I think I'm liking that a lot better than just the solid, the solid line. Okay, I really like that. I'm going to take this little palette knife and clean off the bottom while I'm at it. Again, check the corners. Okay, now I think I'll give it a torch. Clean my hands off first. And then give it a torch. just really really liking the composition of this painting it's beautiful okay I think I'm going to get you down for a close-up and you can tell me what you think Okay, hey everybody, here we are for our close-up. And again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I've been waiting just a few minutes because I noticed that the that uh, base coat I used, that uh, greenish yellow, is starting to kind of come up in the background here. And it's really, really pretty. You can see all the different layers trying to come through. It's really pretty. And this is just going down the left-hand side here. This is one of the rings that I poured. I did lose quite a bit of uh, paint off the canvas, but I'm really happy with the end result here. Here you can see some of that, that yellow trying to come up, the greenish yellow. And some nice stripes here. Really pretty in here. And here is that dark green that I poured.
and we'll go over to the top right here and just come down the right side Here's another little ring there left hanging on on the edge and this is the lower left hand corner I'm going to take you up here where I added that Prussian blue stripe there I think that's really a neat accent for this painting I really do like this ring here really really nice so let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it share it make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that i do post a new video subscribe if you haven't that would be great and i'd like to thank tish for the uh, challenge here with this color palette and it was a lot of fun to work with this color palette with all the greens and the blues so until next time take care everybody bye for now